Hello and welcome to the Heart Space Theory on Astrology. If you are new, welcome. It's really nice to have you here with me at the Heart Space. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support and for allowing me to read your energy. I appreciate you guys very much. Today we are going to do a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Leo, I have a couple of channel messages for you. I was sitting in your energy for maybe more than 24 hours on and off. Spirit guides uh, needed to convey to you important things that are going to happen in the month of March, but beyond that as well. Leo, you are stepping into a three-year cycle that will bring a major shift into your life from night to day, I heard. Things such as limiting beliefs that need to be let go of are at the front line at this time. March is the month of connecting with your subconscious so that aspects of your soul identity can be recognized and mended. Mended came really strongly, this word. So there are some um, healing energies that need to be addressed at this time. And your subconscious, it's holding a lot of secrets, a lot of revelations that you are going to get in the month of March and beyond as well. Now, don't forget, it is a three year cycle that started in 2023. 2024, the end of 2024 is going to be a very important period for you, okay? I heard from Spirit Guys that forgiveness, it's very much emphasized during this period. If you haven't forgiven yourself regarding something in your lives that you did, it's time for you to heal and forgive, okay? It's time also for you to forgive others as well. People that are close to you. Also, it's important for you to understand that forgiveness is the door to healing, okay? When we release resentments from past, we allow healing, regeneration, and new cycles to emerge in our life, okay? Now, we are switching a little. Um, there's a love interest here. Might be something that you are in separation from or just someone that you do not have any more contact with, but it might not have ended the best. This person, it's going to come towards you and ask for some level of forgiveness. Spirit guides need to tell you that this is a test that your spirit guides are putting you through at this time. We will have to figure out what the energy is because I didn't get a lot. Um, it didn't develop into a lot of details. However, I have a feeling like um, that forgiveness, whoever this person is, is going to come through in the reading, in the actual reading. Okay, All right, let's jump into it. Leo, Sun, Rising and Venus. I am using the Akashic Tarot for you, just to get a couple of overall messages for the month of March. All right, Leo, let's get started. Just so much for you guys. What Leo needs to know at this time? What are the elements that need to come through? Archangel Michael, how beautiful. Archangel Michael might be one of your uh, archangels that it's guiding you through this lifetime, okay? Solar plexus and heart chakra, it's being highlighted. Children are being highlighted here. Okay, it's number nine. What else for you guys? The bird's nest. I love this card. This tells me that there's some beautiful energies that you are creating at this time. You're building something. Your subconscious, it's co-creating with your consciousness at this time. Number three, this tells me that, again, this three-year cycle comes in. It's going to bring a major shift for you, Leo. One more, please. 
Thank you. And beautiful, the Queen of Forces. She's the Queen of Balance. She is the Queen of Yin and Yang. She is pretty much like Temperance in uh, right now, the energy comes through. There might be somebody in your life, an earth sign or a water sign, that is a big support for you at this time. She's confident. She knows her power. She understands the power of the sun, but also the power of the moon. Wonderful, let's see. Paths unknown, number eight. Now, where do you want to go? What path do you want to choose? Squirrels, foxes can be important for you. You might be living in an area where there is a lot of wildlife, so you are seeing a lot of foxes, squirrels, and so on. They have messages for you. Okay, let's jump into your spread. I'm going to use the Golden Universal Tarot for you today. And we are going to pull out the most significant energy that you have to be aware of for this month of March. Thank you so much, Spray Guides. Just let me know what is it. Oh my god. You know, when this comes out, like the first thing, the most important energy, it's a match. It's King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Now I'm being um, taken back to that person that wants to come through and ask for forgiveness. Is that your person, Leo? Is that somebody that you had you had to be uh, separated from for a while so that this person or you can uh, do your own healing work. Now, you might be dealing with an earth sign. However, please do not get caught into zodiac signs or genders. Just understand that this connection, it's a divine connection that will come through. This is faded. I'm getting the Wheel of Fortune right now with this one. It's, it's good fortune. Uh, your spirit guides are putting you through this test, coming back to the channel messages, because there are greater gifts and wisdom and success that is waiting for you. It's waiting for both of you. Okay? There's a mending energy here. Wow! Out of the bat and we have a match king and queen of pentacles beautiful what is the challenge let's see we'll clarify some of these energies look at that leo oh my god didn't i bring up wheel of fortune there it is okay i'm getting divine timing if uh, you were in separation with your match, with your soulmate, it was the right thing at the right time, okay? There's something that's emerging right now. There's something where this wheel was stopped for a moment because things were not properly woven. Things were not properly aligned, Leo. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune and Two of Cups. This is your soulmate. Whoever you're thinking of right now. Two of Cups. It's your soulmate. It's something that's going to be brought together. March is the beginning, the start, maybe a restart of this connection. And this is someone that vibrates with you at the same level. This is somebody that knows your soul, knows your heart. Wow. Okay, and because it's in the challenge position, there was a pause. 
there was a stagnant energy here between you and this person for a while. Something happened within you and this person and somebody, you or the other person, needs to um, ask for forgiveness. You both need to forgive each other regarding something. It will be different for everybody, right? It is a general reading. Let's keep going. This is major, major. What's on the line, this energy? Okay. Seven of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. My God. I mean, Leo. March is going to be the beginning of wonderful opportunities in your life. The beginning of amazing shifts. Seven of Wands, it's a um, defensive energy right now. I have a feeling that you are protecting something. You're protecting a thought. You're protecting some kind of offer or opportunity that you would like to bring into existence. Okay, for some of you, you have to get out of your comfort zone to be able to see this new opportunity. It can be a job, it can be uh, travel opportunities, it can be something amazing and fresh that wants to emerge in your life. But first, you have to open the door, co-create with spirit, co-create with your subconscious. There's so many beautiful things that want to come to you. Look at that. And we have Wheel of Fortune. So much expansion. Good luck. You know, prosperity. Success. What's coming to an end for you, Leo? What are the elements and energies? Leo. Strength. Leo energy. Hmm. You are very brave and strong and courageous energy, yeah? You are so um, sure of yourself and what you want in your life that sometime you might close your heart. You might close the door to different uh, persons or opportunities in your life and your spirit guides are wanting you to to open yourself to new adventures that want to come your way. Okay, Leo? Adventures, that totally comes in strongly. Yes, thank you, Spirit Guide. What's crowning this energy? Let's see. Wow, this reading is going to be long if I don't move on. <laughs> Six of Swords and the Hierophant. This is your in your consciousness. You might be dealing with a Taurus. There's a push and pull in this energy. However, your spirit guides are pushing you towards maybe traveling towards this person or taking some kind of action towards this person or towards your dreams, okay? Right, what's coming in this energy? Three of Cups! Woohoo! Celebration! A lot of time connecting with your loved ones, with your friends, with your family. Number three again comes through. You might have, you know, three people in your life that are really close to your heart. And you're encouraged to spend more time with those people. It's beautiful. It's cups. It's emotional celebration. It's emotional happiness. All right. We'll clarify. I like this. Yeah, your spirit guides really want you to take to take risks. Understand that there's opportunities that want to come in. You just have to open the door. Okay, be receptive. What are you not seeing? What is the blind spot here? 
Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Anything else? One more, please. Thank you. And Four of Pentacles. Yeah. You are totally in your space, not really wanting to share a lot of your time and energy with others, you know? You're very much into your own bubble and for some of you, you're okay, you're you're fine, you're happy in that bubble. But we are here in this 3D to experience different things, okay? To grow, to connect, to love, to risk, to evolve, right? And so your blind spot is that you might not see it, but your spirit guides are working with your subconscious right now and are bringing to you amazing opportunities. And this person that's going to show up, that's going to come back into your life one way or another. And this energy really tells me that this is your person. All right, outside influences. Pretty fantastic, Leo. Let's see. Look at that. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Six of Wands. Wow. I mean, you have probably one of the most beautiful and positive energies on the table since I started doing the monthly readings for March. Six of Wands, it's one of the most beautiful cards to get. It's success. It's expansion. You might build something that will bring you fame, okay? Jupiter comes in. This this beautiful energy tells me that there is adventure that's awaiting, okay? Long distance travel, I heard. Okay, for some of you. And devil, which is Capricorn. If you have to go travel to see this person, or you might have to go travel for work, please uh, spend, make some time to spend time with this person. Or, you know, if they come through and say, hey, can you meet me? You know, I really need to speak to you. Please allow that conversation to take place, okay? All right, and hopes and fears. King of Wands and the Moon. This can be your energy. King of Wands, fire sign. Yeah, there's some fears and insecurities you're still harboring at this time. Something you haven't forgiven yourself for, for the past, from the past, okay? For some of you, you are afraid to open up to this person once again because she might, he, she, they might come in and they might not show up the way you want it. Well, your spirit guides are giving me the vibe that this person is coming to you healed. It's coming to you at the right time, okay? Wheel of Fortune is here. And likely I'll come, let's see. Ten of Wands. Time to release, time to release and forgive, please. Do not hold on to resentment and anger and burdens. And Six of Cups, wow, how beautiful. Six of Cups, it's an element of past memories. It's an energy of reflection, nostalgia, inner child communication, I heard. You might want to spend time with your inner child at this time. There's some release that needs to happen regarding your past. It's very clear, okay? Please spend time with yourself. Things will, things and energies that need to surface from your subconscious will come through. How beautiful. Let's see if we can clarify a couple of things. And then um, I will most likely take this into extended so we can unfold more of these energies, okay? We'll find out more of uh, regarding this person. Who is this person? When is going to come in? We'll most likely get a timeline. 
All right, let's clarify a couple of things quickly uh, and then we'll move into the extended. If you would like to join me, then uh, you will find the link um, in the box down below, okay? Let's clarify this beautiful match here. Queen and King of Pentacles, the most important energy, okay? Wow, this wants to come through, absolutely. Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands and Page of Cobs. There was some drama, there was some obstacle here for of you on your side or this person's side that kept you, kept your energies apart. Six of Pentacles tells me that this connection is balanced. This connection is a loving connection. Page of Cups. It's a beautiful, it's the messenger of love, right? It's, it's still a student. This love most likely was not evolved into a mature love, right? But see, there's five of wands in the middle, which tells me that there were people or obstacles that some of you needed to face before this connection couldn't come together properly. Huh. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Let's see this obstacle, Wheel of Fortune and Two of Cups. Wow, look at that. Six of Cups again. Six of Cups again, which we have in the likely outcome. That's my dog, if you hear that in the background, playing with herself, by herself. <laughs> um, wow, Six of Cups, Tower, look at that, and Two of Cups. Something needs to be let go of, okay? Channel messages once again. There's some forgiveness, there's some revelations and downloads regarding pieces of yourself, aspects of your shadow self that, need to, that needs to crumble, okay? And because we have Two of Cups again, this is confirmation that this person is your person. Wow, you are me. What an amazing energy I'm feeling right now. Moving on, Six of Cups tells me that there are elements. If it's not you, then it must be the other person, but there are some elements in your inner child or your past that you have to release or forgive so that this Two of Cups can evolve so that this two of cups energy can be successful okay can come in successfully your spirit guides put you both through a test and these energies on the table tells me that you've successfully went through it and Wheel of Fortune is here this time. The wheel will turn. I'm amazed how many confirmations we have on the table. Two of Cups, Six of Cups twice, and a Tower. The Tower is Mars energy. The Tower will come in when things need to be let go of, released, crumbled, that are no longer in alignment with you, that are built on an unstable, you know, on an unstable foundation and you have to let go. It can be uncomfortable, it can be something that you have to let go and it will create maybe some kind of heartbreak or pain, but know that at the end of this cycle, there's two of cups. There's love. There's pure connection. You are manifesting and your spirit guides are going to bring in an amazing love. Gorgeous. Let's keep going. What else should we clarify? 
Let's clarify what's coming. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Devil again. And the Moon. And Ace of Swords. <laughs> Magician at the bottom. Beautiful. Okay, for some of you, there's a person, an energy, a group in your life that's bringing some misfortune in your life. But you are keeping these people and energies in your life because they are attached to this wound that you have to let go. And so when you heal, whatever past energy you are still holding on to, these people will exit your life as well because you are no longer identifying yourself with these people. You know, there's nothing that can be a link between you and these people. Five of Pentacles, an energy of lack, an energy of emptiness, okay? The moon, again, tells me that there are some insecurities that you have to look at, you have to address. The moon is very intuitive and receptive energy, but most of the time the moon tells us that we are in a confused state of mind. We are not really having the answers or the awareness to see things as they are. Well, guess what? Guess what's coming? Ace of Swords. This is, as I said, from night to day. There's truth that will come in from your spirit guides, from Archangel Michael. Please bring in, set your intention to connect with Archangel Michael. He will bring a lot of wisdom into your life. Truth. Stand in your truth. Do not sway from speaking your truth. Even, even when there is a possibility of people exiting your life. Okay. I heard that there will be some things revealed when it comes about some friends, your friends or close people in your life and um, you have been having the sense that there's something you no know, fishy about this group or people and but you didn't have the information you didn't have the facts okay well what's coming is that you are going to receive the answers wow okay this is this is powerful all right I will take the rest, uh, we'll clarify in the extended, so please join me if you feel like it, if, if you are being called, okay? Let's get a couple of oracle cards to close this reading. I'm going to use the Queen of the Moon oracle for you. Please step into your power, Leo. Okay, let's see. Queen of the Moon for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are aware when I post new content, okay? I would love to have you back. Pleasure! Live your life opened up to pleasure. Live your life looking for pleasure. Number nine. One more, please. Thank you. Acceptance, beautiful. Accept that you are on this earth to learn, to grow, to expand. Okay, I'm being called to read this really quick. The acceptance card and self-reflection. Wow. All right. All right, let's see. Acceptance, I'm being called to read this. So we'll do it. Number four. Acceptance of the current situation is the first step to change. The past does not exist. The future hasn't happened. There is only right now. I accept where I am and who I am right now. Beautiful. 
Accepting where we are right now in its fullness allows us to also accept that there may be some chaos in our change before there is full order again. This can be an exciting feeling rather than one that generates fear if we hold our new intentions clearly. Accept who you are. Forgive the things that are still pulling you down at this time. Know that we only have this moment. We only have right now. We're gonna get a final couple of oracle cards from the angels and ancestors. Let's see what the angels and ancestors have for you for the month of March. All right, let's see. Final messages for Leo. Be devoted and committed, sage and wait for important information exactly there's a lot of information okay there's dna healing that's happening at this time during this three year cycle for you your spirit guides are with you archangel michael came through so please use archangel michael's energy work with that okay one more being called to take one more Wow, okay. Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. What your soul wants you to do and feel right now. Understand how vast, how limitless you are. Follow your instincts. You are a star. You are a star. Take care of your needs. Thank you so much, Leo. If this resonated with you, once again, please like and subscribe and I would love to have you back with me. Have an amazing March. Know that you are limitless. Know your self-worth. Wake up every morning and create your own affirmation, okay? And start with that. You will see, you will see how your life will change for the better, okay? Thank you so much. Know that I love and appreciate you very much. And I hope to see you next time here at the Heart Space. Bye-bye.